Romans chapter 11, <clears throat> verse 7, and it reads, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as, as it is written, the heavenly Father have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors, to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sister occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. The rest have been blinded. What then Israel are people before us a place which represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians have not obtained that which he seeketh for, which is the truth. Everyone wants to know the truth, right? But I would be the majority of our people, they're looking in looking for the truth in all the wrong places, right? That's all by design, though. That's all by design. But the election have obtained have obtained it. What the truth? Like when we tell our people what the mark of the beast is, according to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17, the elect is going to get it. The elect is going to get that it's talking about the sea hip, that karagma, something actually being inserted inside of them. They're going to get it. The rest are going to be blinded. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Let's get it again. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? It, and that's a question. Israel have not obtained that which is seeketh for, which is the truth. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Just like when we bring out the proper name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the Hebrew tongue. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The election have obtained it. But the rest were blinded. That's why the majority of our people are still calling on Jesus. That means you're still blinded. All right? You, you, haven't, you haven't woke up yet. You haven't been quickened. And you're still calling on Jesus. When the name is out there now, the Lord said in the land of thy captivity. That's um, Baruch the second chapter. Read that the other day. But it's all through faith, though. It's all through faith. That gift has to be given to you. For you to actually believe in the scriptures and the breakdowns of them, right? It says the election have obtained it. America being Babylon the Great, the land of confusion. The election have obtained that. And many other scriptures, I can't even think of it all right about now, but many other scriptures. You see? The mysteries, the allegories, the secrets, the deep dark sayings. All that was given to the elect of the nation of Israel, the rest have been blinded. I'm reading it right here. I'm reading it right here. Who the Edomites are according to the Bible. Who the rest of these heathen nations are according to the Bible. Who the Bible pertains to. Who's the only nationality of people that can receive the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible. Who's going to be saved. Who the Lord died for. The election have obtained and the rest have been blinded, man. And we bring out the scriptures proving everything. Everything we say, we bring it out with a scripture. Matter of fact, I said that. Let's get I'm going to come right back, Lord's willing. I, I, I want to get this, though. St. Matthew chapter 1, right? St. Matthew chapter 1. Let's just get this, verse 21. This is a mystery right here. Even though it's written, look, what color the Heavenly Father is and what color the only begotten Son is, it's written. It's written. We bring out the scriptures. Our people can't receive it because they haven't been blinded. We're going to bring that out, Lord, one and two. St. Matthew chapter 1. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 in the reads, And she, Lord Yahweh's mother, mother the Mary, Joseph's wife. That, that's a mystery. Joseph having sex with his wife, Mary. That's still a mystery. People still think Mary was a virgin. No, she had sex with Joseph, man. And he put his seed in her. 
That's a mystery in 2024, still to this day, because they're being blinded. The election have obtained it, though. The election get it. St. Matthew 1, 21. And, and many of them, the man is the head of the household. That's still a mystery. That's still a mystery. It's the heavenly father, his only begotten son, man, woman, and then the offspring. That's still a mystery, even though that's common sense. St. Matthew 1, 21, and it reads, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers, for he shall save his people from their sins, not the whole world. Not the whole world. For he shall save his people from their sins, from their transgressions. Well, who's given the word? Let's just get that right quick. Remember, the rest have been blind. Let's get who was given the word. Let's go to Leviticus right quick. And many, and many other scriptures. This place being destroyed, some come. Uh, the majority of our people, they can't get that. Well, look, what our, where our homeland is. According to the Bible, our people can't get that, even though we bring out the scripture and we put it on the screen. Leviticus chapter 26. Leviticus chapter 26. Verse 46, and it reads, these are the statutes and judgments and laws. These are the statutes and judgments and laws. Which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel, not all nations, in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. This scripture right here is so plain. But the Lord blinded the majority of our people from even getting this scripture. It is really straight like that, man. Let's get another one. This is something quick, man. I was watching um El Apostle Ramla's video earlier. Pretty much going into how like the Lord blinded majority of our people. But going right into the scriptures, Romans 11 and 7, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Let's get this right quick. I want to get this right quick. Let's get Psalms. Let's go to Psalms. We're going to go back right, right back to that Romans 11 chapter. Then we're going to wrap it up. We got a couple of scriptures. It ain't meant. That's the thing about it. It's not. It's not. It's a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power. And the Lord said, I'm going to reveal my secrets to those that fear me. Right? This is Psalms. Let's just get this. Psalms 147. Psalms chapter 147. And 19, right? And it reads, he showed his word unto Jacob. Remember, Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he wrestled with the angel, right? You can read about that in Genesis. Read, man. It's the only thing you got to do. But you can read and still the Lord will blind you, right? And in order for you to understand the scriptures anyway, you need to teach it anyway. The Lord revealeth his secrets and to his service the prophets. If you don't have the secret, if you're supposed to be a teacher, a prophet of the Lord, you don't have the secrets, you're not a prophet, man. Because the Lord said he revealed his secrets into his servants, the prophets. Let's get this again. He showed off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. So the Lord didn't get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures to, to these heathen nations, to all nations. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as far as... and. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, yeah. Another mystery. These heathens are going ahead for us in the captivity. That's a mystery. I, I people still can't get that. Let's just get that right quick. 2024, Jeremiah chapter 30. Let's just get that. Jeremiah chapter 30. Uh, our people don't know this devil's getting ready to come in. It's straight up. This devil about to come in like a flood. You know what a flood does when it comes to any area, any sta anything standing in that flood's way, it destroys it, right? That's how this devil, what's the word? Our people don't even know what the word devil means. Been going to church for 50 years and you still don't know what the word devil means. 
I'll tell you then. The word devil means deceiver or slanderer, all right? It's a nation of people on the face of the earth known as the devils, known as the wicked. Esau, Edom. Our people still try to figure out who the Edomites are. They think the Edomites are done away with. When the scriptures say there's no end to all the people. Our people think the earth is going to blow the hell up. The scriptures say the earth abided forever. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4 I'm thinking. The earth abided forever. The earth, the earth going to always be here. The earth ain't going nowhere. Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. That's all. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16. Therefore all they that devour thee. And I'm excited. Therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversary, every adversaries, every one of them. So all these heathen nations, man, every one of them shall go into captivity. Every one of these heathen nations are going head first into captivity for a thousand long drawn out years. And the election have obtained that knowledge and the rest have been blinded. Lord ain't coming back to save all nations, man. What it say? They're going to go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Are we not understanding that scripture? Let's go back to Romans 11 chapter. Let's go right on back. Let's go right on back. It's crazy. The average Israelite man and woman still trying to figure out who's the head of the household when it's written. Matter of fact, let's get it right quick. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Let me just get it in. Show it on the screen. And everybody's going to fall in line. Even if it costs you your life. All of us are going to fall in line. All of us are going to eventually fall in line and get in order. Even if it costs somebody their lives. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 3. Straight, coming straight out of the Bible. You say you love the Bible until we start reading the scriptures. Everybody loves the words of the Bible. Everybody's walking around with a Bible until you actually open it up and read it to them. They're like, that. what Bible are you reading? The same Bible that you've been walking around with that you ain't reading. I've been reading it, man. Putting the precepts with the precepts. Here a little, there a little. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, and it reads, but I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who you ignorantly call Jesus. The head of every Israelite man is the Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Once again, he says he delivers who you ignorantly call Jesus, right? And the head of the woman, every woman, every woman. Is the man, is the Israelite man. What part of that don't we get by now? But once again, everybody's going to fall in order. These scriptures don't go out void. This word don't go out void. And if you can't get it, the Lord don't want you to get it. And the head of Yahweh Shai is the heavenly father, the most high Yahweh. He is, he exists, who they even call God, man. All right, so let's go back. Let's go right on back. I might have to make a part two to this. I wrote down some scriptures. I ain't even got through really none of them yet. All that race war, the class wars, the civil wars, the economy crashing. All that's a mystery to the majority of our people. They blinded to the fact of what's really going on. Romans chapter 11, verse 7 again. What then Israel, a people before us, a place have not obtained that which he seeketh for, which is the truth. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blind. We can't thank the Lord enough for putting this on game, for revealing the secrets into us by way of the prophets. Remember, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret and to his service. The prophets, the Lord didn't have to either now. We don't deserve nothing. We got to be more thankful. The Lord revealed what the hour of temptation is. A.K.A. the mark of the beast, that C hip, the M.O.T. to the B.B.B. and the rest have been blinded. We bring out Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17. The majority of our people think it's an embargo. 
That thing is sleeping with a white woman. That thing is John 3.16 and, and everything else up under the sun except for the, what it really is. The Lord has blinded them. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the heavenly father, the most high Yahweh, have given them the spirit of slumber, put them to sleep, spiritual coma, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. 2024, September the 1st, our people are still blinded to what the Bible is really talking about. Still, to this day, to this day, when the Lord made it plain for us to get it, the Lord made it easy for us to understand. It's only for the elect right about now. Matter of fact, let's get that out. Let's get Isaiah right quick. They, they, they can't even perceive their martial law. They, look, our people can't. They can't even, they don't even know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. They, they still walk around talking on love, 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 love. Don't even know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And whoso despises wisdom and instruction is a fool. What did I want to get? Matter of fact, I said it earlier. Let me just bring it out right quick. You got Israelite groups talking about the earth is about to be destroyed. What? Ecclesiastes, yeah, Isaiah 6 chapter. Ecclesiastes the chapter 1 verse 4. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. Just like with reincarnation. Re means back in carnation, right? Back in the flesh. Reincarnation, back in the flesh, you come back pursuant to um, Exodus, the 20th chapter, you come back every third or fourth generation. A generation like 26 to 30 years. So times that, times three to four, you come back. Once again, the earth abided forever, meaning what? The earth is always going to be around. You got, once again, you got Israelite groups. Talk about the earth will be destroyed when the missiles get launched. That ain't what the scriptures saying. You add into the scriptures. A false prophet, he will add to the scriptures. He will take away from the scriptures. <laughs> the true prophets of the Lord, they're just going to stick to the scriptures. All right? Once, once again, Ecclesiastes 1 and 4, I got to continue to read this. Because you got a whole lot of false doctrines out there. A whole lot of damnable heresies. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abided forever. So let's get this Isaiah right quick. Isaiah. It, is, it, is, it truly is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. This is Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9, and it reads, And he said, Go and tell this people, the Israelites, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. They see us, they hear us, <laughs> but still can't perceive, still can't discern. Make the heart mean in the mind. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Through the spirit, right? And understand with their heart, with their mind, and convert and turn back and be healed. So the Lord got the spirit. Look, the Lord got the angels, man, blocking them, spiritually making it so our people can't get the knowledge. Got spiritual blockers on the majority of our people. The, look, the Heavenly Father sent forth the angels to block the majority, the minds of the majority of our people from getting the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures. He don't want to heal them. He don't want to save them. He don't want to deliver them, man. This is what the scripture is going into. You see? Then said I, Lord, how long? How long do you want me to leave them blinded? Spiritually blinded, right? From, from getting the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, until this place get totally annihilated. And them missiles hit. And get totally destroyed, and that's scary right there. And the house without man, look, 
I'm just breaking down the scriptures. Man. I ain't, this scripture right here really don't even need no breaking down. Then said, I, Lord, how long? How long do you want me to keep them blinded? Eyes that they should not hear and ears, uh, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. How long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, Israel, and the house without man, and the land be utterly desolate. When the missiles hit, keep them blinded until those missiles hit. And you think that ain't scary? Hey, look, look, keep, keep them blinded to where they won't even believe in the proper name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. When the scriptures say the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and it's safe. The Lord don't want our people to call on them. The majority of them. Remember, the name of the Lord is dreadful to the heathens. Two thirds of our people consider heathens right about now, man. Heathens. It's, it's scary. And the Lord made it plain to us. That's why, once again, we can't thank the Lord enough. You see? What else do I want to get right quick, man? It's many other things that I can get. Matter of fact, let's get this. I quoted it. Let's get it. Amos chapter 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 7, and it reads, Should of the Lord power, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And you got men on the face of the earth, you got Israelite group leaders on the face of the earth. Tell us something, when we, when we say the proper name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son in the Hebrew tongue, uh, we're, we're filled with gal. You know what I'm saying? He scorns. He scorns when we say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Show the Lord power do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his service, the prophets, man. So you want the secrets of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai? Then you got to come to the prophets. Um, remember, understand what thou readest. How can I accept someone teach me? That's what the Ethiopian unit said. He said he needed somebody to teach him the scriptures. That's the only way he would be able to understand, man. That's the only way we was able to understand. Someone had to teach us. You ain't getting this on your own. I'm reading it. The Lord revealed his secrets and to his service the prophets, which are men. Men, Israelite men. Let's see what else, Lord. And, and oh yeah, I almost definitely got to get this is Isaiah 33. Because remember, the only thing that's going to keep us stable and the only thing that's keeping us stable is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. And if you don't realize that by now, I, I don't know what to tell you then. You still don't realize that the only thing that's going to keep you stable is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. You, you desiring everything upon the sun except for what's going to keep you stable. You desiring everything up under the sun except for what's going to keep you stable. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge of the Bible shall be the stability of thy times. You see the Israelites that don't have it, you see them bugging out, right? You, you see them bugging out, right? They're losing it, right? They don't got, what starts off with the fear. Remember, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, Remember? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. Remember those scriptures? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which those names are still a mystery to the majority of our people. Is his treasure. Let's get this. Let's get this Proverbs right quick. The Lord gave us the most precious thing on the face of the earth, and we're showing sure off thankful. This is um, Proverbs chapter 8. Let's get this. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. It says, For wisdom, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, what's going to be the stability of thy times, for wisdom is better than rubies. 
and all the things that may be desired upon the face of the earth are not to be compared to it. That's how we feel. You, we can't compare nothing to what the Lord has blessed us with, which is this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. And the scriptures say wisdom is the principal thing. That's numero uno, wisdom. And with all thy getting, get wisdom. What does it say? Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. And you're going to need a teacher for that. You still walk around like you don't need nobody to teach you. You're going to need, that's why you bug the hell out now. You Israelite men out there that's trying to do your own thing. You wondering why you can't get it? You wondering why you, you walk around bug the hell out? You, I, I just told you why, according to the Bible. Because you act like nobody can't teach you. You think you got it already, and you don't got it. And you're going to be looking even more bugged out as time goes on. At least you repent. Which, yeah, the Lord has given us the most precious thing on the face of the earth, and we better act like we, 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 we you know, we, we realize that pretty much. You see? But once again, if our gospel be here, it is here to them that are lost, man. If you can't get that the RFID, that, that C hip, that karagma, is the mark of the beast written of in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, 17, you have been blinded. If you can't get that the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you still blinded. You have been blinded. You can't get that the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the whole descriptions. It's for it's only for the children of Israel. You have been blinded. If you can't get that Babylon the Great is America. You have been blinded. If you can't get that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, you got Israelite group leaders out there saying that we ain't the Hebrews no more, that we're not Hebrew Israelites anymore. It's crazy. But the rest have been blinded. The election have obtained it. The rest have been blinded. Still can't get the fact that we don't supposed to be eating pork. You have been blinded. Any Israelite group walking around talking about something the laws are done away with. You have been blinded, man. Color don't matter. You have been blinded. And, and many other things, man. How the Lord coming. The Lord revealed how he's coming. What he's coming in. Who he's coming with. All that. But the rest have been blinded. Two thirds of our people over here in Babylon, the great AK America, will be destroyed, according to the Bible. You can't get that. You have been blinded. And I keep going on, going on, going on. But I, I hit the point. I'm probably going to come back with a part two of this. You see? Remember, the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded. Shalom.